time to make our color wheel. We've done some practice runs, we've messed around with the paint a little bit, and it's time to make a color wheel. So we're going to learn about a color wheel, understand the color wheel, create a color wheel, and again, as usual, control the paint. Some of the things you're going to need is something round to trace. You can see about how big mine is. A paintbrush, watercolor paint, water, a paper towel, and pencil in your paper that you're going to work on. So my circle is about as big as my hand. You're going to start by tracing that circle. Then I want you to find the middle of the circle. You're going to divide that circle into three equal sections. Now if you need to stop the video to keep up, do so. Now each one of those sections you're going to divide into two. So I'm going to one line creates two sections. One line, two sections, one line, two sections. Okay, so now you have six spaces. We need more. So each one of the sections that are there, you're going to divide again with one line. They're not all perfect. They're about the same size though. So you should have 12. Count them. Make sure you have 12. Now the, one of the top sections, you're going to mark inside a circle red, or R for red. Okay. Then you're going to skip one, leave it blank, and you're going to mark this with a square. Just leave it blank. Now skip one and make another circle. Again, stop the video as you need to and mark that with a Y. Skip one, make it a square. Skip one and make it a circle with blue. Skip one and give it a square. So all of the circles that you've just marked have primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow are your primary colors. The square are going to be secondary colors. Secondary colors are created when you mix two primaries together. So when you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. When you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. And when you mix blue and red together, you get violet or purple. Okay. Mark all of those just the way I did. Stop the video as you need. So the blank ones are going to get a triangle. And those are your intermediate colors. Intermediate colors are two word colors, like red orange, yellow orange, yellow-green, blue-green, with a triangle around each one, blue-violet, and I put a square, but I want you to put a triangle. I ran out of triangles, right? And red-violet with a triangle. That should be a triangle as well. All right, now we're going to start. Before you do anything, I painted I, I broke a rule here. Before you do anything, I want you to clean your palette. So get some water on your brush, take a paper towel or a napkin, and just wipe it down. Your wells of color should be fairly clean, but I just wiped it down. I did it after I painted my red though. <laughs> so you're going to see me go back in here now and paint my red. So you want to mix enough red on the palette. Let's see where it's dirty. I broke the rules. <laughs> Again, you're going to mix the red on the palette and find a clean spot. Mix enough red to be able to use in that whole little wedge that you've made. All right, so now I'm going to paint the red. Use the side of your brush to make a straight line and paint it. You notice I didn't go through and outline it and then fill it in. You're kind of painting. Now in between each one, you're going to clean your brush really good. And I'm going to paint my yellow. I'm going around and doing all of the primaries first. So stop the video when you need to and paint your primaries. My blue, filling that space. Okay, there's my primary colors. Now I'm going to paint the secondary colors. So I'm going to, I use the orange right out of the paint tray. You can mix it if you want. You can see me mixing it there, or you can use it out of the paint tray. It's up to you. You'll do a lot of color mixing, so you don't, I'm not worried about you doing it right now. So fill that orange. 
Notice you're skipping a space and that gives it a chance to dry. So you're leaving that blank one or the intermediate colors blank right for a while. It gives the other ones a chance to dry. Do the green, do your purple or violet. Violet sounds fancier, doesn't it? So we'll say violet. Try not to outline it and fill it in. Okay, you don't want to leave an outline around everything. Now you're really going to do some mixing. So you're going to take the red and the purple or the violet and mix a little bit of it together. Your goal here is to have something in between the red and the violet. So it looks different from the red and it looks different from the violet. It's kind of right in between. Nice little red violet. Now you're going to do a blue violet. Clean your palette as you need to. I love that color, isn't it beautiful? Paint it. See how I'm leaving a little bit of a white line in there just to make sure they don't bleed together? That's You can do that if you want. So blue-green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, and you got a blue-green. I think that one could add a, have a little more blue in it, but it is definitely in between the blue and the green. Now yellow-green. yellow. You see how I test it out first before I commit? <laughs> so you can do that. Clean your palette when you need to. Now yellow, orange. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange. Now I have this sped up, so don't think you have to paint this fast. Stop the video as you need to. And red, orange. So you're going to take these same notes that we've taken today and you're going to make your own color wheel. Your turn. <laughs> 